लेफ्ट राइट इधर सामने देखिए इंग्लिश रिकॉर्डिंग इन बोथ मिक्स ओके देन आई टू डू वन फैंटास्टिक बताओ सो आई एम हेयर वंस अगेन फॉर द सेवनटीन फ्यूरा रिटेल ज्वेलरी अवार्ड्स आई एम वेरी आई एम क्लोज नाउ टू सोमा एंड समेत ओवर द इयर्स ऑफ हैविंग वर्क विद दैम इट इज सो एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डिनरी फॉर अ डिजाइनर टू यू नो सी सच great incredible uh, pieces which are like literally like masterpieces and um, both in uh, traditional form of jewelry as well as in what is called avant-garde or modern form of jewelry so uh, i i feel honored i'm very happy to be here to be a part of the uh, retail jewelry awards which are happening for the 17th time and how serious they are about it and an impact they have there will be five finalists which we will uh, as jury choose today and they have i think about a 20 categories of prizes or awards which can go on to make a very big impression and help set pace for the future talent in this industry uh, i'm talking about the criteria of judging what is the criteria of judging this award you know so one of the best things i've seen when i've judged many events including sometimes prime events like miss india or mr world international what is the best part of a jewelry uh, judging here is they don't put any labels so i can't be influenced to be honest i'm as innocent as any other bystander right now because i've literally had no premonition that i will be doing this so i'm i'm a judge who didn't know i will walk into a jury so i have nobody who can make a call to me and say hey you're doing the jewelry awards tomorrow we heard can you make sure my collection so, no sometimes you do tend to get calls like that but here they have no names i have no idea whose product it is i cannot be influenced and i myself was so secretly taken there today that i had no idea i was going to be doing that i thought i was doing a press release today uh, talking about the uh, jewelry it is always said that jewelry is a woman best friend yes uh, so what about in you which piece of jewelry do you like the most you know i by personally i love jewelry but I used to wear it to weddings and occasions and I stopped wearing it at in day to day life. But today not just in India if you go across the whole world even with a pair of shorts or casual people are going to wear one chain then there's a fashion of another double layer chain or a third layer and then they're wearing a lot of that van cleef apel looking you know chain there's a lot of jewelry they're wearing on the hands rings have become such a trend ear fashion and of course if you go into fashion design which is where i want to go in there is crazy headgear as accessories which i think will be the future of fashion for of jewelry forecast soon it will be a wearable thing uh, can, can we say that jewelry improves the women's appearance yeah 100% you didn't see me without it before the earrings <laughs> you should have seen it it totally changes especially indian asian face men were also wearing jewelry you know in our old and period it, you know it enhanced our features it reflected on our faces how do you think that jewelry has evolved uh, in your 
How was the? How, how do you feel that generally the trend has evolved? Oh, the trends have greatly changed. So, you know, when I started shopping for Julia's to save all my money as a young girl to buy old heritage pieces. But I feel foolish today because in hindsight, because today the modern recreations of the old techniques are so ahead of the curve that one almost wonders why did we bother buying something so old because the new which looks like old is fantastic jewelry has made a huge leap in india there is so much talent there is so many surprises in design like how i mean your eyes literally pop out like we did it and it's accessible it's available so it's it's phenomenal the jewelry boom i think Yes. So why does jewelry and that jewelry are rituals and all this and then you have to carry it forward? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So see now with modern trends you get also remakes. You have lab grown diamonds today. You will also have uh, um, jewelry which looks like costume is part plated. It doesn't have to be so heavy on your costing, but it can give you the look of real. So they're both schools of uh, jewelry, but yes, we like to wear it. It adorns the body, it enhances your beauty. And yes, it's still a must have. Jewelry, the trends are important. They have to be forecasted. So when we play jewelry in awards like this, you know, we end up creating trends for the next season. And those become then worn and translated into uh, remakes or uh, easier on the pocket and the trends are formed like that thank you so much thank you Yeah, so basically whatever I've seen inside, I extremely like the uniqueness and the intricate design that they have done. I come from the south, so I extremely like the uh, uh, the craftsmanship that they have done. And um, yeah, that's what I like about it. So you can see actually what right now what I'm wearing is from inside. Though it's quite heavy, but still it has its own style. It kind of brings out the story of its own, so that's what my whole story is what you can see right now that I'm wearing, so yeah. Thank you. Is there a question? Yeah. I have a press release regarding this the event. Yeah. So, so they will ask a like, general question. The exhibition is fantastic. Yeah, this, what is the exhibition award? There is no award right now, right? Yeah, yeah this is judging. 
see the jewelry which has been displayed here this is exquisite uh, i think you know i mean after a long time i have seen this kind of jewelry and during covid you know i mean everything was shut and i believe you know i mean there were i have seen one once uh, you know somebody was telling me that lot of jewelry designer the workers were going back during the covid but i am so happy that they have come back with a new enthusiasm and they have started making new sort of jewelries and i'm sure the designers were also occupied this last two years sitting at home making new designs and today uh, we have seen those designs which we have never seen before so as a woman i am extremely happy to be here and judge you know this uh, jewelries i'm sure it will be difficult but still we have to do our you know job as a judge but i'm sure we will be more than happy to do it i am i will be more than happy to do it thank you so much sorry see uh, jewelry is totally a uh, individual's choice making up a jewelry like my choice will be totally different from other women and uh, i like gold jewelry and i have seen lot of them displaying over there and i'm sure i will go for that and uh, whoever i mean this is my choice i will definitely put on you know my favorite choice over there and that i'm not too sure and we are not supposed to disclose also at this moment thank you fantastic piece you wear oh thank you so much thank you thank you okay thank you okay thanks So we have to say. so i'm very excited for the retail jeweler in their awards i think that it's a great initiative to give um, designers more incentive to design innovative jewelry and um, you know take take the innovation in the diamond industry forwards uh, so i'm very happy to be on the jury for such a prestigious event uh, tell us about the idea of judging as you are one of the judges that you I think primarily for me because I come from an art background uh, the criteria is aesthetics it's design uh, at least for me when I was looking at all the pieces and judging I was focusing more on how visually beautiful it was and how it looks and feels and especially when worn you know how 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 the that impact or statement of the jewelry comes across so I think aesthetic was the primary criteria for me Um, I think that any kind of jewelry that's different and unique in statement, um, jewelry that that has uh, you know pops of color or different shapes, so a variety of shapes, and you know just anything that that stands out because it's unique in its design is. is um, so I really like Jadav. I like traditional Indian classical Jadav jewelry. I think it looks really good, especially even with Western attire. I think it's a statement. Um, so Jadav is my personal favorite, and I love, I love necklaces. Necklaces, chokers are my are my personal favorite. Thank you.
I can't hear you well. Sorry. I'm really excited because I just saw a few. I'm really excited because uh, I just uh, had glimpses of beautiful designs and it's um, I'm amazed to see like how many different categories and uh, variations are there especially like colors because when we talk about diamonds we think about only white white and uh, you know uh, silver but uh, I see here so many colors are there I think uh, this is the pandemic effect because we all wants to see a lot of colors and uh, still I have to see in detail uh, and I'm excited uh, about this. Still I have to choose my personal favorite because I want to go in depth and see in details but uh, you know, because so many variations are there, so it's not easy to choose right away. Okay, usually in India, especially in Japan, the ancestors used to be there, it should be transferred to our parents and all this. So, do you think the traditional jewelry is now in fashion? I think traditional jewellery is in fashion. In fact, before, you know, it was like this is South Indian jewellery, this is Maharashtrian jewellery or we used to specify. But nowadays, I think everyone wants to wear everything, you know, like especially uh, I have seen beautiful uh, temple jewellery inside and uh, I think now it's in trend. More like a lot of NRI clients, they want to wear temple jewellery. So it's not very specific. But of course, I feel that traditional uh, things will be always in trend. Maybe we will uh, uh, modify and modernize little bit here and there. But I think, uh, especially personally, if, uh, uh, for myself, I I choose you know uh, traditional uh, jewelries are always uh, you know amazing. Thank you. Can I do? I need to lean forward or no? This is fine. Okay. These have been conducted for 17 years now and um, I look forward to it year on year, judging it in every capacity. Uh, every year they show a huge uh, leap forward in uh, design, in form, in quality, in execution, in uh, the stones that are used, the materials that are used, and uh, getting very um, unique in their own way, not just in the international way, but in their own way. And uh, I pick up a lot of pieces from here, actually. What I'm wearing here on my neck today, I bought them uh, years ago from here when I judged uh, an event. They were actually earrings, but uh, they were so heavy as earrings that I converted them into a necklace. Uh, even my bracelet, let me show it to you today, is from one of the vendors here. Uh, so I can't recommend it uh, more highly. I so look forward. Uh, Ma'am, talking about the criteria of judging, what, what are the criteria of judging? Uh, criteria of judging according to me are many things. I'm looking at uh, quality, I'm looking at execution, design element, uniqueness. I'm looking at being smart about using 
what you have for even making it look more than it is. Sometimes you want to present things, you want to make it a gift, you want to spend less, you want to make it look more. I'm looking at um, um, something that you feel, look at and feel like I absolutely have to have. Uh, I am looking at um, uh, stones and things which are not otherwise available. Um, I'm not looking at more of the same. I'm not looking at uh, replication. Uh, these are some of the things that uh, come to mind. And as you have, as you have seen the show inside, and so what about the, what your I've just come in. I've seen very few things. I still have to go forward to take a look at uh, uh, the rest of it. But whatever I've seen so far is showing all of these elements which I just mentioned right now. I think the jewelers are very well aware of that and tapping into that uh, excellently. Thank you. Thank you.